our world is shaped and connected through the wonders of engineering. From roads to water, agriculture to buildings and schools, engineering weaves our communities together. We have all experienced in some way failing infrastructure and understand the inconveniences it can cause. But failing infrastructure also has deep social and economic ramifications. For underserved communities across the U.S., the chronic stress of failing or non-existent infrastructure weakens the fabric of the community. We were in deep trouble, and we still are, uh, with the wastewater treatment system, and we sought some advice. Every system that fails erodes the trust of the public in, in, in the water and wastewater industry, and that hurts everyone. Since 2014, Community Engineering Corps has made a positive contribution to the livelihoods and environments of their neighbors across the U.S. Leveraging our membership, we bring technical professionals and students together to work alongside underserved communities in resolving their infrastructure needs. Look, we have this garden on Jackson Avenue, and we don't have the skills to, to do this, but I have a vision. Community Engineering Corps welcomes any underserved community that is organized and motivated to make necessary improvements, but is missing the technical expertise to move forward. There's a lot of things we can't fix because we don't have the abilities, but for everything that we cannot fix, we've had volunteers come in and try to help us. And my hat goes off to them for the work they do. Volunteers are truly the engine that drives the Community Engineering Corps program. These individuals volunteer their time and expertise, all pro bono. The program framework ensures quality oversight of engineering services, resources for volunteers, and professional liability coverage. It's been a really great experience um, just in the organization, but also it's been fulfilling professionally as well. Community Engineering Corps projects fall into a number of engineering specialties, including agriculture, civil works, energy, structures, water, and sanitation. In New Orleans, engineers provided a site assessment and soil testing that provided GROWDAT, an urban youth farm, with the confidence to develop suitable crops. They also provided a structural assessment for meeting and gathering spaces for the farm. In the rural community of Grover Hill, Ohio, volunteers developed a preliminary engineering report on a failing sanitation system. The report was pivotal in securing close to $2 million in funding for implementing a new system. They came in and volunteered their time, did some research for us, and it was all done for the cost of zero dollars. And uh, without them, we wouldn't be able to do this at all. If you are a community in need of engineering services or a potential volunteer with the technical expertise you'd like to share, join us. Let's work together to improve our country's infrastructure. One brick, one pipe, one volunteer, and one community at a time.